hello and welcome to my channel where I mostly share my love of fragrance and enjoying my collection. In this video, I'll be reviewing the collection of retired scents that Bath & Body Works brought back for semi-annual sale. Thank you so much for stopping by and let's get started. The third collection that Bath & Body Works released for the summer semi-annual sale is made up of retired scents that used to be staples in their line. I've already reviewed the other two collections, Salt Shack and Groovy Summer, and we'll link those videos in the description box if you want to check those out. I picked up three of the four scents in the retired collection, but I already had the fourth scent and we'll provide details on that as well. I think the packaging on this collection is okay. It feels a bit dated to me, but I think that's kind of what they were going for. The collection includes Plumeria, described as the bloom of the ball, light, floral, and effortlessly chic. White tea and ginger, described as a slow steeped cup of sunset. Juniper breeze, described as brisk morning air rolling off dewy hills. And the last scent is cucumber melon, which is described as cool, sweet, and just so classic. I have the version from the winter 2022 semi-annual sale, and we'll review that one because I couldn't bring myself to purchase another one in the new packaging. While these are all returning fragrances, I couldn't really remember what any of them smelled like except for cucumber melon. I was really more of a sun-ripened raspberry, Japanese cherry blossom, and warm vanilla sugar kind of girl back when these scents were around. And now let's get on to the reviews. And first up is Plumeria, which comes in peachy pink packaging with floral accents. And this has notes of pink Plumeria, peach nectar, red apple, night blooming jasmine, and gardenia petals. And to be honest, I didn't expect to like this one because I don't like overly floral scents. But this opens with a soft tropical floral and a sweet fruitiness. The fruit smells more like apple than peach to me. And the floral notes have a light, almost watery quality to them. I sometimes find gardenia to be too strong, but I think that it's nice here. And the peach comes out a bit more in the dry down as well. Overall, this is a really pretty, soft, tropical floral that isn't harsh or green. I like the addition of the sweet fruit notes, and I think that the scent is very pleasant. I actually went and purchased another set because I really enjoy this one. And here's the Plumeria collection of products. I purchased the body lotion and shower gel, but didn't get the body cream because I'm trying to avoid those. The lotion smells very similar to the fragrance mist, just a bit more creamy. I get a lot of the apple and the watery floral. The shower gel is also quite similar, but the apple stands out even more. And for comparisons, first I have Gingham Gorgeous, which has notes of pink strawberries, peach nectar, and peony blooms. And this is another fruity floral scent, but this has strawberry mixing with the peach instead of apple. The fruit feels stronger and more syrupy in Gingham Gorgeous, and the scent is overall sweeter than Plumeria but they're both soft florals with a nice fruity sweetness. I do prefer Gingham Gorgeous, but I like both of them. Next, I have Afternoon Sunshine with notes of golden peaches, honey crisp apple, and white woods. These both have a fruity mix of peach and apple, but Afternoon Sunshine's fruit is deeper and the scent overall is warm and woody. Plumeria is sweeter and the florals give it a softer feel than Afternoon Sunshine. Personally, I prefer Plumeria out of these two. And then I have Butterfly, which has notes of raspberry nectar, iris petals, and airy vanilla. And these don't have similar notes, but I thought this would be a good fruity floral scent to compare, since many are familiar with it. Butterfly is a sweet floral scent with syrupy raspberry and a light bubblegummy sweetness. It's airy and powdery, whereas Plumeria is soft and tropical. Butterfly is one of my favorite Bath & Body Works scents, so I definitely prefer it, and it is much sweeter than Plumeria. Next up is White Tea and Ginger, which has soft yellow packaging with floral accents. And this has notes of white tea leaves, sparkling yuzu, fresh bergamot, geranium petals, and a hint of ginger. And this opens very strongly with citrus and ginger. The bergamot and yuzu are bright and sharp, and the ginger has a bit of kick to it as well. I love yuzu tea, so I'm very used to the scent and find it to be pleasant. There is a noticeable floral note and the geranium feels a little spicy and green. I feel like the tea is present, and tea isn't one of my favorite notes in fragrances, but it's not too overpowering here. 
I was a bit unsure if I would like this one, but I think I actually do. The sharpness from the opening does soften over time, and on skin, it settles into a citrusy scent that still feels bright. If you don't like the sharpness of ginger, you might find it a bit off-putting, but I do like it. I also purchased the body lotion and shower gel for white tea and ginger. I find the body lotion to be less spicy, and the sharp ginger is offset some by additional creaminess. As for the shower gel, I find the yuzu to be more prominent, while the floral stays more in the background. And for comps, first I have Fresh Getaway, with notes of bright yuzu citrus and fresh ocean air. And this is a bright and citrusy scent with an overall airy quality. These both have nice bright yuzu, but Fresh Getaway is more fresh and clean, while White Tea and Ginger has that sharp ginger and floral, so it feels much stronger and kind of loud. I love Fresh Getaway and much prefer it over White Tea and Ginger. And then I have Petal Plush Clouds from Victoria's Secret, and this has notes of peony sugar, bergamot tea, and mimosa flower. And this is a tea scent with some citrusy brightness from the bergamot. The mimosa flower is a bit powdery, and the scent has an overall soft sweetness. The tea feels more prominent in Petal Plush Clouds, and the scent is much softer, while white tea and ginger feels more dominated by the ginger and geranium. Next up is Juniper Breeze, which comes in blue packaging with juniper accents. And this has notes of juniper leaves, green apple, blue jasmine, fresh woods, and dewy musk. And I couldn't remember actually trying Juniper Breeze before, because these are not the type of notes that I would reach for, but I was kind of pleasantly surprised by the scent. It opens to me with a soft floral and apple, and the juniper and woods are present, but much softer than I expected. It doesn't really feel too green or foresty to me. The floral note is also soft, and it has a bit of a soapy quality, but the musk seems to lighten the scent so that it just feels very clean and fresh and subtly sweet. It smells like clean laundry, and I can't pick up on the apple even in the dry down, which I think is really nice. I couldn't decide if I like this at first, but I think that I do. I actually purchased another mist, but I'm not sure if this is something I really want to wear. I feel like I'd rather use it as an air freshener or to spray on linens. I also picked up the body lotion for Juniper Breeze, and I feel like I get a bit more of a green feeling from it. It still has the soft, clean, soapy scent, but the apple isn't as noticeable and the juniper is more prominent. So I don't like the lotion as much as the fragrance mist because it feels less sweet. And for comps, first I have Hello Beautiful, which has notes of white gardenia, jasmine petals, magnolia blossom, pink nectarine, and cotton musk. This is a pleasant jasmine scent with nectarine and musk. These both smell very clean and fresh, but Hello Beautiful is a bit sweeter and fruitier, while Juniper Breeze is more airy with that very light woodiness. And then I have Night Blooming Jasmine with notes of jasmine flower, white musk, and apple blossom. This is a very floral scent with some muskiness and a hint of apple. The floral has a watery and almost sour quality to it, which I really don't care for. These are both musky floral scents with apple, but Night Blooming Jasmine is much more floral, whereas Juniper Breeze is more clean and fresh. I don't love Night Blooming Jasmine, and I think I actually prefer Juniper Breeze. And lastly, I have Cucumber Melon. And again, I have the 2022 version from Winter SAS, but the new 25th anniversary one also comes in green packaging. And this has notes of crisp cucumber, watery honeydew, summer cantaloupe, sparkling grapefruit, and sheer woods. And this scent opens strongly with cucumber and melon. And the melon feels like a mix of honeydew and cantaloupe to me. There's a bit of sharpness from the grapefruit and not much sweetness overall. The woods give it a little warmth, but mostly it feels cool and watery and fresh. It's not a bad scent, but it's just not something I really reach for. And for comps, first I have Summer Melody, which has notes of golden honeydew and bronze vanilla. And this is a candied melon scent that's very sweet and fruity. It's very heavy on the vanilla, which is warm and a bit syrupy. Summer Melody is more of a sweet vanilla scent with melon, while Cucumber Melon is a fresh, watery cucumber scent with melon. I much prefer Summer Melody as I love its vanilla sweetness. And then I have Rainbow Waves, and this is last year's version from the Pride Collection, 
but there's also a new version currently available in the SAS that was released in the Groovy Summer Collection. And this has notes of Sunny Sangria, Bright Melon, and Misty Waters. And this is a fresh melon scent with a sparkling quality that has a bit of an alcoholic feel to it. It also feels aquatic with a kind of airy freshness. These both have a melon scent with a fresh quality, but Rainbow Waves has a bit more sweetness and the aquatic note makes it feel very different. I think I prefer Rainbow Waves, although that one isn't one of my favorites either. Overall, I do like that they brought back some older scents for this collection. I didn't remember trying most of these before, so they felt new to me. I do wish that they bring back some other scents than Cucumber Melon though, as we see that scent all the time. If I had to rank these, my least favorite would of course be Cucumber Melon, as I just don't care much for the watery cucumber and melon scent. Next would be Juniper Breeze, which I do like for a clean household scent, but I don't see wearing it myself. Then White Tea and Ginger would come in second, with its bright yuzu, although it's a bit too sharp for me until it settles. And that leaves Plumeria as my favorite, as I do enjoy the soft, tropical, fruity floral scent. I wouldn't say that any of these are loves for me, but I did enjoy trying them, and I'm happy to have them in my collection. These weren't my go-to scents back when they were popular, and my tastes have also moved further towards the super sweet gourmand and fruity scents. So that's it for my review of the retired scents that Bath & Body Works brought back for the semi-annual sale. Let me know what you think of these scents and if you're going to pick any of them up. Thank you for watching. I hope that you'll subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.